Hello, uh, Dan back with another brown liquor review, uh, nine to be exact. Uh, this is uh, Talisker Distillers Edition. It's just about 11 years old. It comes out at about a 45.8% alcohol by volume, uh, which makes it about 91.6%. Um, you know, if you if you don't know Talisker, uh, Talisker is a brand uh, that is a very consistently great peated single malt whiskey. Okay. Um, it comes from uh, the Isla of, S of Sky, and the Isla of Sky only has uh, one distillery as of today, but for uh, in the future, uh, soon there will be another one, from what I understand. Uh, so this is a heavily peated uh, single malt, and um, so you know, I'll, I'll talk about peated single malts quite often. A lot of them come from Isla. And um, so, you know, just from, you know, those are two different islands on the west coast of uh, Scotland. And so, you know, it, it just, you know, they're from different places. So the, uh, the, the, the peat is obviously different from place to place. Um, in Talisker, it is definitely different in a great way. Um, so whether it is um, Talisker Distillers Edition or good old Talisker 10 or um, if you're so inclined Talisker 18, um, you know, the peat is always a really, really great thing. There's no doubt about that. So um, with that said, it was a really good opportunity for me to buy this when I found it in Delaware, actually. So let me, let me pour you a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, just a little taste there. Okay. Uh, Talisker is a great brand. Uh, they usually always bottle their whiskeys at above 40% alcohol by volume. Um, so you always know you're going to get a bang for your buck. All right. So, uh, let me just get into the nose. So the thing that strikes me the most, uh, compared to a good old Talisker 10 is that the peat is much lighter in this one. Okay. And that probably goes back to uh, the double maturation of, um, of the Amoroso cask. Amoroso, from what I understand, is very similar to Oloroso in that it is a dessert um, Spanish wine. And so, you know, you're going to have similar effects from that, like, you know, from... Um, something that is uh, Oloroso, so basically um, Aberlauer, Abuna, you know, those sort of things where sherry has a major influence. It's really interesting the um, interaction between uh, sherry and peat, right? Um, they're kind of like uh, different spectrums of the whiskey world, especially when it comes to single malts. So it's almost like the difference between um, a heavily hopped beer versus a heavily malted beer, okay? So uh, with this one, uh, you, you're getting both, you're getting like a little bit of both worlds, which is really, really interesting. So what happens, what happens whenever these two worlds collide, okay? Because that's what's happening here. All right, so like I said, um, It, it's really great. The uh, the peat is light, but you also get those dried fruits uh, from a sherry cask influence. You get uh, dried almonds. You get uh, clove and allspice. Of course, you get sherry. So what goes into sherry? Uh, sweet, black pepper, cardamom, uh, green peppercorn, and spicy chilies in this one. Uh, it's, it's, it's got a really great nose. Okay, so why don't we go into the taste. So 
so it follows the nose in that there's a light peat. You, you get that alcohol burn because there's, you know, it's still there. I mean, we're talking about a 91.6 proof uh, alcohol. So it's still there. Um, but with a, with a sherry influence, so that you have uh, dried figs, dates, golden raisins. Okay. Uh, you also catch uh, some lemongrass, which is nice. And uh, caramel, turmeric. And there's a very earthy kind of uh, finish on it. Okay. So overall, it's um, it's it's an easy to drink single malt. Uh, the sherry has mellowed out the peat very much so in a way that um, you know even Talisker Ten, like I'm saying here, is easy to drink. Okay, but. The sherry has uh, has mellowed it out in a in a sweetness kind of way um, that adds all of those things like almonds, uh, black pepper, and cardamom uh, that just makes it a very uh, spiced kind of flavor that is just really really nice. Okay, um, so overall, uh, you know this is about an eighty six in my mind, um, and that, uh, you know, it's, it's really good, and it, it's one of those ones that you'll find, uh, pretty regularly, and that I would recommend that you pick up, um, but before you pick up this one, make sure that you spend some time with the original Talisker 10, uh, before you pick this one up. Okay, so that you can tell the difference between the two. Uh, I would say that Talisker 10 is uh, significantly better than this one. Um, and that, you know, it's, you know, no matter what, you can't lose with this brand name. You really can't. It's really fantastic. So, uh, with that said, uh, this has been uh, Brown Liquor Review number 9. And, um, you know... I can't wait till the next one. I was saying that we were going to uh, keep on going on the uh, scotch single malt kind of uh, kick. But I think that we're going to go towards a, uh, a rye and a very young one at that. So uh, with that said, I hope you have a great evening. And thank you for uh, spending some time with me. So, if you have a chance, please uh, like, comment, or subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.